we are gonna get you some great push-ups. The thing with push-ups is they come over time when you start to strengthen the muscles that you've been kind of avoiding working. I promise you, you can do them no matter how tall or short you are or how athletic or not you are, they're in you. We're just gonna start to get them out. With a push-up, I think what tends to happen is people go for, go for the, like, the perfect push-up the first time and they feel like they failed. When I teach push-ups in the beginning with every Biggest Loser contestant, we peel up like stickers because they cannot do a full push-up with the extra weight they've gone on. What that means is feet are as wide as your mat, so are your hands. You're gonna start to, by squeezing your butt first, you gently sag and you kind of worm down. Breathe in, peel up your chest like a sticker, worm back up. Okay, if you put that in like fast motion, it could be a cool 80s move. But essentially, down, that's a push up. I'm getting a press from your back and your chest and I'm getting that full level change for your body. So that is an acceptable push up for me during this program. Now, as you get better, you'll find that your feet can move a little closer, your hips will stay a little higher, and even if you get to here and you don't touch the ground, that's fine. I will take percentage push-ups, meaning I'm 50%, I'm 60%, I'm getting lower and lower but not touching the ground. That's okay, because you're still working the muscles that I want you to get stronger in. Finally, you'll get all the way, make sure your chin is tucked, your chest hits, and you come up. So as you notice, I'm down here, my chest is down, my hips are up, my, my arms are lit up, and everything is one cohesive piece as I press. Those are your three options.